right. I didn't think this was going to be a two-parter, but I guess it is. I, I do talk a lot anyway. But there's kind of a lot of information I put out there. So now we're going to go with the jewelry and counterfeit. Like, is it, is it counterfeit? Is it not? And there's going to be some ads here. Um, I'm sorry if you're angry about it, but I'm just giving out the education and the information. And if someone chooses to buy it, I, mean, I don't care. Now, this one, I have a problem with. This is an ad, straight up, that I found off. See that price? Let me tell you why I have a problem with that one. That is the ad for the exact same ring on eBay. See the price? $8.99. And the worst part, the most infuriating part, is that when you see this, it looks like, you know, someone, you know, is wearing it. Because that's one thing. If you see pictures like this, like, you know, they're, you can tell they're stock pictures on the marketplace, then it's obviously bought off the internet. Straight off, you can tell that. They're, they're not even getting their own pictures. Because this one doesn't have its own picture. Look. They took the eBay picture of the person wearing the ring on their finger and put it up there. It's a little bit deceiving. Mostly when it says women 18k white gold filled. White gold filled does not mean you're getting gold. At all. You know, some people, I, again, I was contacted, you know, by people, you know, some of them were the sellers, so they were pissed at. Some of them were people that had tried to buy certain items and were telling me stuff. That, you know, that, you know. So white gold filled does not mean that it's white gold. At all. Gold filled simply means gold plated, but a little bit thicker. So it lasts a little longer. That's all it means. The inside is still probably copper. Well, actually, copper is expensive now, so bronze. Probably bronze. Um, so, yeah. so we're going to get into the other rings that I have quickly. I know I showed the pictures, but I'm just going to show them to you like here. So this ad, this ad here, they want $25 for it. You know what? Go for it. I, I totally, I have the ring. It's right here. I wear it. I like it. I do. If you don't want to wait three months for this to come in the mail, buy it for 25 bucks. It's worth it. That markup is perfectly fine. Worth every single penny. And even though, you know, it's, it's silver. Yeah, this is actually a silver ring. So if it says silver stamped 925 sterling silver if it says 925 925 is the pure silver that you can have in jewelry silver jewelry won't tarnish it's just it looks just like gold silver never nothing wrong with that at all not a problem this one this one was originally a hundred and it went down to this is the one that someone contacted me and they wanted to buy it because they wanted to change the stones out this is 18 karat gold filled, so you can't change the stones out. You can't, because you have to melt it a little bit. To, and as soon as you melt it, you know, the covering part, which is gold filled, gold plated, is going to come off. And I do have a problem with this markup. It used to be 100, now it's 80. I have the ring right here. I wore it. It wears off. It is not gold. It's not gold at all. The inside of it is whatever the heck that stuff is that turns your fingers green so I'm really really sorry person that's selling this for 80 bucks but you shouldn't be and don't tell people that this is real gold it's not not at all and I'm sorry but 80 bucks for crap is just a little too far same thing for this one 60 bucks, I find that one to be a little high for markup. However, that one, eh, it's up to you. I'm giving you the information that I also have that exact same ring right there. And the quality is, is not that good once you get it. Looks great in the picture. Um, let's see if I can find it. I have, there's a part of the stone, one of them is chipped. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if you can see this. How the quality is made crappy. There's gaps. So there's gaps between when they fit in there. It's just, I mean, it's costume jewelry. 
which is fine. Personally, I don't mind wearing costume jewelry because for the few months before it starts to tarnish, it looks great. Nobody freaking knows. These these ones are, are you know, something, whatever. And then watches. I happen to be a watch aficionado, straight up. And I'm going to mention one. Now, this person says it's real. They said they bought it to a jeweler. I walked away after that. It was just a personal message like, hey, it's fake. So this is the picture that they have. They want $400 for it. And this is the actual watch. So watches are so easy. And I've been victim of, of this same thing. I'm going to show you one of my watches. Quickly show you what to look for. So if you see something, anything, anything out there that looks like it's a lot of money, just Google the name of it. Google's great. Just just Google the name. The, the brand name of, of the watch or the ring or the whatever. And it's going to bring you up pictures. And it will tell you if it's, you know, real or, or where it's from. And if you're not sure if it's real or not, then you can look at things. Now, watches, I learned my lesson the hard way. The difference, if you see, this is the real one. You see how there's diamonds down there? And this one doesn't have diamonds down there? That's how you can tell. Little, little differences like that, that the untrained person or someone that's not used to looking for those things would not know. So that's that. Now the rest is just my stuff. When it comes to, you know, people, sorry. When it comes to people having a certificate of office and I can't say that word. My brain, okay, it's, it's trying, <laughs> it's trying. But you know what I mean, you know, those certificates that prove it's real and stuff. Some of them are fake. I've, I've helped someone about a year ago and she didn't know, okay? And the fact that she didn't know in the end, she probably wouldn't have gotten in trouble, but anything with a value of 5,000 or more, if it's deemed fake and you sell it to someone, like and even though you're completely convinced it's real, 5,000 is the limit for jail time. So look out for that. What I have to say though, um, for when it comes to eBay, like this, mostly it's eBay where you get certificates. Um, a certificate of authenticity, I got it, will never ever be plastic, ever. It'll never be laminated. Just like your birth certificate is void if it's laminated, same thing. It has to be a piece of paper that's written with value and it, it has all sorts of things that sometimes we don't understand and even those ones can be faked. So if you're, you know, not sure, because if it sounds too good to be true, it just might be, there's going to be a name, that person that signed it and usually it'll be from a company. Google the company. Google the name. Anybody that is a certified jewel appraiser is going to be on the internet. They have to be part of an association. They have to be part of something because they have rules to follow. Um, you know, they're coming from all around the world, but that's what's great about the internet. You can reach every corner of the world, except for like China, partly because, you know, they have filters, but not my point. You can still find stuff. So if you're not sure if it's true or not, Google. Like, if you ask the seller on eBay, of course they're going to tell you it's real. But, you know, you look at the pictures, you're not sure, compare, ask questions. And if you do buy something, you bring it to a jeweler and the jeweler's like, no, this is crap. Again, eBay will help you out on that because if they're telling you it's real and that there's a certificate or Amazon would be instant, but anyway, you can get your money back. And in this case, though, this person wasn't aware that what she had was, you know, fraudulent. She was thankful in the end, you know, because I, I helped her with, you know, the steps on how to get her money back and open a claim because it's complicated. I don't mind doing that. If anybody has any questions, like, let me know. I'll help you. Uh, I've learned enough about that by now. So, yeah, if you're wondering, just, just Google. Ask questions. Google is your best friend. That's it. And um, let me show you some of my snafus. 
love him to death, though. So back in the day, anybody remember those Ed Hardy things? <laughs> yeah, I'm that old. Christian Odigier was the person, you know, behind Ed Hardy. So I bought this watch, thinking it was real. Um, here's how I figured out it wasn't. I didn't ever my money back on this either. So one, the box is like, you know, as you, that should be your first indication when you receive it. But when you buy it, you don't always know, right? But sometimes when you receive it, you, you have a limited time that you can actually claim after a while. If you wait like three months, they're not gonna let you claim anything. So again, this one came in, it came with papers telling me that it was real. It isn't. So another thing that gives it away is that this isn't real leather. You can feel that it's not real leather. And I'm a fan of these big, huge watches, by the way. Um, so, yes. I kept it. I don't know. I just think it's pretty, even though I know it's fake. I don't care. But I'm not trying to sell it and pretending that it is. And I'm not saying that those people out there knowingly selling fakes. I'm saying that, you know, sometimes you're under the impression that it's real. Like, why not? They're easily faked. Mostly Movado watches. Movado watches are so easily faked. I mean, their logo is a dot. How hard is that to do, right? Again, look at the number of links from a real one. Just go to their website. Look at it. Sometimes you have to count the links. Sometimes it has to do with the dial, the crown, which that's called the crown, the little button. So this one looks authentic. It has all the things that it needs, but it's not. So I don't know if it phone, it'll pick it up. But if you can look, it's gonna focus. No, don't focus on, focus on the watch. All right, there you go. If you can see, it's actually a sticker just stuck on the dial. It's pixelated and it's a sticker. The real ones aren't a sticker. Um, other than that, it actually works. It tells time. I, I haven't worn it in, uh, I don't know how long, but still ticking. I don't know. But the back part says that it's, um, you know, the real thing. It even has the model number and everything. Um, but it's not. It's fake. So, yeah, I got caught. I learned the hard way. I'm still getting caught. I'm still learning the hard way. However, why not help you with information? So, I think that's all I had to say. I forgot about this one because it wasn't right in my face because I do have it in a giveaway. Okay, I'm not plugging my page, people. No, just whatever. It happens to be there. Naked, any kind of makeup. Name brand is so, so easily faked and it's hard to tell. I, I bought this one. I'm still not sure if it's a real one or not. I mean, it looks legit. It even has a little, I mean, yeah, I, I use it. I'm giving it away, by the way. I have a giveaway. Or I'm giving away some of my makeup because one, I have too much and two, like, why not give it to the people who really need it? And um, some of it's brand spanking new. I just keep getting, you know, I buy a lot from Elf Cosmetics and they give me gifts and bonuses, which everybody else is entitled to as well, by the way. And I just have those things like three or four times already. Give them away. Why not? But my point is, you don't know. I would not buy any makeup, like name brand, on a discounted price. Straight up, you never know what's in it. You don't. I got lucky with this one. It may be real, it may not be, I don't know. But it didn't hurt my eyes. I wore it for a while, you know, before I discovered e.l.f. This is what I was wearing to learn how to do makeup because I've been playing around for like a year and a half now, maybe. Um, but when you're buying, like, no. You never know what's in it. They can put whatever they want. They can put lead in there if they want. They can put asbestos in there if they want. You're going to put that on your face. You have no idea what is in counterfeit makeup. Don't try it. That's why I'm saying that if you're going to buy anything from Wish, and to pull it up here. If you're going to buy anything off the internet, Wish, the you can be, definitely, they are tested and true, and so is Focalore. I don't have anything from that anymore because I gave it away. They are another brand that you'll see a lot on, on Wish, so it's F-O-L-L-A-C-U-R-E, I, I think. It's always like big capital letters. 
that brand as well is an actual brand that you can look up. They have quality and standards and whatnot. So you can be in Focalore. It's something that you can trust. I would give it my full back to the point that, you know, it's not going to hurt you. You're not going to have any bad things. Is it going to actually, you know, give you what you want out of it? Maybe not. I mean, this one says it's got six different kind of whatever. It doesn't have what it says. And they all kind of make your eyes look orange. But I mean, mixed in with other stuff, it looks great. Whatever. But, I would be aware. Fake makeup. Anything makeup. If it's a name brand and you're not buying it, you know, through an authorized seller. Like Amazon. Amazon, again, that A to Z thing protects you with the real stuff. So, Amazon has it. AliExpress, mm-hmm, not too sure. I mean, unless it's like the brand store. They have their own stores on there. Wish, you probably aren't getting the real stuff. And eBay, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. I wouldn't trust eBay for makeup. You'd have no clue. And electronics, same thing on eBay. I don't know. I tried and, uh, yeah. So, that's it. Buy or beware. It is. If you buy something on the internet, don't expect to get your money back. Don't send somebody money before you see it, before you physically have it in your hand. And when it comes to like electronics and whatnot, oh, that's my jam, you have a right to, you know, want to turn the phone on and, and in front of them before you pay money. If they don't want you to, walk away. I've never heard of that happening, like personally, but I'm sure it does somewhere in the world. Um, in Moncton, I'm I feel like people are honest. <laughs> Maybe I'm really naive. I, okay, I really am naive. But, you know, that's that's just my thing. Thanks. That's it. I hope that you found this informative and not, I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm not trying to diss on anybody. I just want to put the information out there for once and then I'll shut up because now I've all told you. So now y'all know. And this protects both parts. It protects the sellers. So if you're selling something at a market price, Go for it. It's the name of the game. You're making money. That's fine. Just make sure that your markup is reasonable. All right? Just a reasonable. What you think reasonable is, what I think reasonable is, sometimes aren't the same. But that's not for me to judge. That's between you and the person that's buying it to judge. Let's put it that way. But be honest. If it's something you buy off the internet, tell them. Sometimes you can buy things off the internet. They're perfectly great. Just let them know what it is. So now it's out there. People, you know, Anybody out there that is a seller that sold something at a markup and somebody's coming back at you, I mean, you can't call the cops. <laughs> they won't do anything. But I mean, they might try, they might threaten, whatever. Save this and pull it in their face. Say, you know what? The information was out there and you chose not to look at it. Same thing goes the other way around. The information is there now. So nobody can yell at each other for saying, I got something fake. Because now you know. And if you happen to get something fake, I'm really, really sorry. But... You gotta look things up, and again, it's buyer beware. Sounds too good to be true? It probably is. And if you're ever in doubt, message. I'll look it up. I might not right away. Sometimes I have stuff to do. Sometimes I'm napping. <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll look it up. I don't mind helping people. Why not? I mean, you want to give me an excuse to look at electronics and shiny things on the internet? Sure, I'll go for it. So with that, I'll <laughs> Thanks everybody, have a great day.